Hey guys, it's Kavetta. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are tackling a couple spots in Ubud, trying to get to the ridge walk, the temple, see what we can see, do what we can do. Check out this area since we won't be here for a long time, but we're here for a good time. Come see you with us. Alright guys, so we gave up. Jarrell's cut is a struggle and it, I mean, it's, it takes an hour and something it says to walk. Uh, today is just not gonna work. I did not prepare to walk an hour, okay? <laughs> All right, so we went into Circle K, got some sweet treats to cool down because the humidity is out of this world. Like, oh my God, sweating, running water everywhere. <laughs> so we stopped, grabbed some water, ice cream. I got some Red Bull, try to get some energy in. And we're walking to the temple to see what's happening over here. We were not paying attention, walked right past wherever the temple is and ended up at the palace. So we're just gonna check it out now and then we'll turn around and go look at the temple. But yes, this is the Ubud Palace. So beautiful over here. Oh my goodness. So again, plans changed, of course. That's just how it is. We ran into a girl that follows me. I follow her on Instagram. She screamed my name and then we just met up, went to one of her friend's place and sat and had a good chat. Good morning, good morning from Seminyak. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are on the move again. Uh, different area in Bali. Um, it's morning. I sound like morning. I know, but we are here. Um, not sure what we're getting into today. We came in yesterday and just chilled. Ordered grab for food. Dropped off some laundry. Went to the market just to grab a couple things. Um, yeah, but this is what we're doing. I'll show you the place we're staying. So far, it is really nice. One of the cleanest, nicest, newer places we've seen. And if you know, especially in Bali, certain places in Southeast Asia, they've been suffering since the Rona. You know, things were shut down, so the place is just run down. Um, one of my friends, were, they were showing me where they were staying, and it was a mess. I'm like, you're staying there? The walls are peeling, mold is going water dripping like yeah so we're just thankful when we get somewhere and you can actually stay there <laughs> i know they're still coming back but yeah so we are gonna check out today probably just lay low for a little bit i have some plans um to get some stuff in that we haven't done yet but for the most part some things we're just gonna do chill stuff you know walk by the beach the mall the village I'll take you along with us. So we've been seeing bean spots pretty much everywhere. Hey, we're in Alpha Mart and we're getting some coffee. It is super inexpensive. Espresso and stuff like 10k, um, under a dollar pretty much. And the most expensive one up there is 18k, so like a dollar ten or so. And then they have food, so we're gonna get some pastry, coffee, sit out here, eat on the low and then see what else we get up to today this is what we got i got the coffee Gerald got this pizza thing and hot chocolate well iced chocolate he's not a fan of the type of chocolate and then i'm trying these i'm not exactly sure what they are called that's not mine it's just been sitting on this table and that's the only free table um but yeah so one is chicken one is 
veggie, so I'm gonna try those. I've seen them everywhere, I haven't tried them, so now's a good time. They were 8k each, the drink was 8 or 9k, Jarrell's was 12k, so everything came to 46k, which is like three dollars and change. We, where we are in Seminac, Seminac, Seminac. <laughs> We are close to Kuta, we're between Kuta and Changu, which, you know, we liked because then we can have best of both worlds, go to both places within a short drive. But we literally walked to the um, trans studio where we came to see Woman King with the group. And this is in Kuta. It was like a 20 minute walk or something. So it wasn't horrible and the sun is out, but we got a ton of shade and the breeze is amazing. So Jarrell saw these games and he said, um, he was waiting for me uh, to come up and he said he saw some of the things that he played so he's gonna check it out he just went to go pee real quick and then he's gonna see which game he wants to play so this is cool they have all these right here so i'm just sitting here resting from that walk and taking in the ac because that heat is no joke and then i think we're gonna go to the dress shop and we need um we both left our sneakers because we walked in rain one day and because it's been so rainy they just wouldn't dry so they started to stink like stink even though they were outside trying to get dry the sun just wouldn't come out until today we're here right but we just left them back so now we both need sneakers and i want to get him some t-shirts because he's growing and just yeah do some shopping and all that so we'll see just a regular old day mall shopping food some gaming <laughs> So he got the game that he wanted. It's in Viver. He thought it was Simulator. My, I don't know. Vive Room? Yeah. <laughs> so it was 60K. He thought it was um, the Simulator. That one is 40K. Which, I mean, you know, whatever. It's a couple of dollars. And he gets to have fun. I don't know. He's looking all crazy with that thing on his face. <laughs> but they put that. And then he's going to get the piece on his head. And then, what is that? Like an ear thing? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, these, these virtual games are something else. Look at him. He looks so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. If you're enjoying this video and all our other travel videos, going around the world, seeing new places, doing new things, Go ahead and give us a like, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures and subscribe. We truly appreciate it. And then up here there's a ton of different um, gaming stuff that you can do. There's Pac-Man right there, the little kids section over here with more kiddie stuff. This looks like uh, bigger kids things. I think we saw AMC Walking Dead something. Oh, but this looks closed or do we have to go to the other side? No, it's closed. Oh, this looks so cool. Look at this. Oh, that looks so amazing. Oh, admission. So this is probably a thing. Like a ride, wait, let me go read here. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a whole theme park and it's, it's temporarily closed. They don't say when it's gonna open back. So it was closed in 2020. And I guess it just hasn't opened yet. But this is pretty awesome. As usual, I didn't find anything for myself yet. I always put them first. So I'm gonna find him some t-shirts, uh, maybe one or you know two or so, and I'll probably look for something for myself. But yeah, these prices are pretty good. So we're getting him these two. They're 50k, so what four four dollars and change? I mean, that's inexpensive. So yeah, we're gonna grab those. I'll probably look for something for myself another day, as usual, and then I never do. <laughs> But yeah, they have some good prices in here, so we're gonna go check out. So we got a pair of sneakers for him, some slippers, um, some, something like these. Well, actually these. 
two new t-shirts and the total was 360 something thousand which is like 23 dollars look there's a wendy's this is the first one we've seen well we've seen a wendy's sign but it wasn't open so we were like oh there used to be wendy's but look there's an actual wendy's but look at this wendy's menu they have so i mean of course it's in indonesia so it's going to be different but dang this menu they have frosties you guys i think i need a frosty right i mean you just have to <laughs> i mean so we had to get wendy's he got cheeseburger meal and then i got this butterscotch caramel macchiato that looks so good and then a big potato something we're just gonna get them to go call a grab and head home have it maybe by the pool or something and relax maybe come out later again we'll see that's 116 she said so that's mm, five or so dollars six dollars if that much for everything that i just said that's crazy coffee my potato his meal yeah pretty cool I had a look for laundry when I picked up her clothes. It was, uh, oh, oh, she even wrote everything 30 pieces, one pair of socks. It was 3.3 kilo. This is the cheapest we've got laundry so far. It was 10k per kilo, and I had 3.3 kilos for 33,000 thereabouts, which is like two dollars, two dollars and change, you guys, to do my laundry. I know it wasn't a lot this time, every other time we did like five or six. And those we did pay 15 one time and i think a little more but yeah so picked up laundry yay for clean clothes i love having clean clothes the only thing we have dirty is what we have on <laughs> then i grabbed oh i've been drinking these teas and it's fruit teas full of sugar and everything but it's so good yeah that is our day good morning you guys another day in seminyak we are walking down to the beach area just to, you know, like I said, today was going to be a chill day too. So we're just going to walk down, get some coffee, maybe some food, see what the city center has to offer. Just look around, chill, relax. It is crazy busy so far. I have tons of people walking, tons of cars, scooters going around as usual. But it is a pretty day out, so that's good. And we are on the beach. Oh, look at this. Guess you can rent beach here and stuff out here. Ah, it's so beautiful. So now we are down this area, Seminyak Village. Seminyak Village. And we were in Seminyak Square. We're gonna go in here, check it out, find some food, chillax. Okay, so Seminyak Village is more shopping um, focused. There wasn't food really. So we're just walking around the area, seeing what's out here. Just checking it out as usual. Super busy. <laughs> we're passing this restaurant, it looked cute, so we came in. Every time we step out, I don't know why we always find the most expensive restaurants to go to. I mean, it's still inexpensive for American standards, but expensive for, you know, Bali. <laughs> we need to be eating at one runs. Like, this is crazy. But it's fine. We're just going to eat now and then probably just take our time walk back so we can see some more spots and just check out the area. But yeah, look at, look at this section. Tons of nice looking restaurants. I got a half chicken uh, in Balinese spices and then she put the sauces on the side because she said it's spicy and they look pretty spicy <laughs> so I'm gonna go in Joel got pasta he's been craving pasta and everything looks good we are gonna dig in
full-time traveling of course comes with its ups and downs i don't know why it's always <laughs> jerrell that's getting the downs but when we were in uh, ubud he got scratched by a dog remember in turkey he got scratched by a cat so he did get rabies and tetanus shots so for this one he just needed uh two boosters for off rabies shots um he was more scared and he was scared for the dog wondering you know why the dog did it saying the dog was scared he didn't think he meant to do it that kind of put a sour on ubud trip and then a day after that he got food poisoning like seriously so we did not end up spending any more time much more time in ubud because he said his spirit just was not taken to ubud because of everything that was happening again full-time travel comes with ups and downs we take it as we go we're just happy that we're healthy and okay 